Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to All the Mods 3. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so last time we set this thing up here, or these things, I guess is more accurate. Uh, they've been doing work overnight, and you know they did some, they did they did work. Uh, so you can see here we've got twenty eight thousand. We did have forty thousand, but I moved a bunch of it into the the system there. Uh, I still have it going because. I don't know how much I'm going to need. Um, I did uh, last night set up this here. Uh, so this is making uh, enriched iron, which is apparently a dust. Uh, so this is making enriched iron. And then this one's turning that enriched iron into steel stuff. Um, and then that is going to there over here into here so you see there it goes steel blend it gets cooked it gets turned into steel uh, because we're gonna need crap tons of steel <laughs> crap tons uh, so we're gonna build hopefully an induction matrix today and uh, so you see i've got some stuff crafting here a bunch of induction cells induction ports induction casing oh my god so much stuff <laughs> so much freaking stuff Oh my god. Um, steel. I ended up with just over 8,000. I was using this too. Um, we've used a ton of coal. I also have coal going through this to get pulverized, turned into pulverized coal so that um, we can we can do this. Uh, so if we look in here, coal, and then I've just been like transferring this out and into here and then it gets pulled in and it makes steel so yeah it, it's 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 uh it, it's it's quite expensive <laughs> it's very very expensive uh and we're gonna put it in the mining world we're gonna put it uh we're gonna have both the uh the the solar thing and uh, the big reactor the bigger extreme reactor uh, because this one's not actually hooked up to anything anymore. Uh, there's no power drain on this whatsoever. Why is it full? Hmm. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, there's no drain on that guy anymore. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to turn off this, make this coal stop, though. I think what we have going down below is enough for now. And then that's got a bunch of gold it's got to cook or pulverize um so yeah that's that that is the plan uh, to make that induction thingy uh, i just gotta wait for all of this to quit and this is all this is just basic this is the basic 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 stuff uh, we can actually look uh let's go let's look at the ultimate induction provider Uh, let's look at one. What does it take to craft one? So you can see there's 304 of the basic control circuits, 68 reinforced alloys, 81 storage tablets, 486 enriched alloys, some refined obsidian, 399 osmium, 640 iron, 200 steel, 200 glass. <laughs> It is very expensive. Oh my god, expensive. Like, like, oh my god, expensive. And that's just the, the induction provider. Uh, the, the other thing is the ultimate induction cell. And that's pretty freaking ridiculous as well. That's even more expensive. So I think starting off with a basic, hopefully we can get something with some decent storage. As long as, as it's more than like these guys are holding. Because I think if it's not, we may just go with these. Because we can chain these together. You know, have them, you know, just build a, a multi-block type thing with these. And just have them feed, you know, into each other. But I, I really want to try the induction matrix because I've never done it before. So I'm hoping it's something we will be able to do. Uh, as far as crystals overnight, we've got... Well, to this point, I've been on for a couple hours. 
Uh, we've got 333 Ionite and then a bunch more of this other stuff. So we're getting that pretty good. I want I kind of want to get up over 500 of this before I decide to... Because I, I think I'm going to upgrade the solar before I upgrade the miner. Maybe. Maybe. Um, I think that's the better way to go about it. And then... Like, we don't even have, like, the, the recipe for that in there. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, I got to wait for all of this to finish. So, I mean, it's getting close. It's getting there. We've only got 184 more induction. I'm making more induction casings than I need uh, because I don't know how many I'm going to need. And the entire thing has to be wrapped in the induction casing. Uh, so, I'm going to let this finish. <laughs> and then once we're ready to set this whole thing up, I shall return. All right, so here we go. Everything finally finished crafting. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to tear out all of this here that's under this. Oh, why is my magnet off? Where? No, wait, where? Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. All right, so we're going to tear this out. All right, it's all that stuff. Give to me the thing. Because I want to build this thing, like, right under this, right? I think that's the best way to do it. All right. Okay. Um. So, I think... Let's see. How are we going to do this? Um. Induction port will go here, right? And then we got to... See induction provider. So apparently the induction the induction ports have to touch an induction provider. Right? And so let's see. Do we have enough to do that? So if we can do that, so that that will be in. This will be out, right? Uh, and then we have these induction cells. These are what makes or determines how much power it can hold. I, I believe. And I don't know. I mean, I may have to make some more of these, but... And I'm pretty sure it could be, like, any size. Uh, up to... 18 by 18 by 18? <laughs> that seems, that's, that's quite a bit. All right, so if we had one more of... Actually, you know what? What we can do is we can add another induction provider and then wrap that with the induction cells, right? So we do that, and then uh, we got to put this there, and then this goes everywhere else, right? And then let's do that. We'll come up around the sides, and then we'll after this, we'll just use the building wand to kind of speed it along. All right. In there. And then, son of a. Come on. Let me in there. Let me. Thank you all. All right. We got that. And that. Yeah. All right, so what is the storage on this guy? Um, 40, wait, what? 40 gigajoules? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what that is. Uh, so the input output is, isn't there a way to see like the, aha, stats. 320 K joules. I guess. Um, 40 minutes that you were receiving outputting. Okay. So. Wait, I thought I had three. Wait, crap. That can't be there. Because we got to get the input from that as well, right? And right there, it's blocked.
Mm. So this whole thing has to come down one. Son of a... All right. So I think we've made it somewhere. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's see. How are we going to do this? I really wanted the output from that to come straight into it. Um, but I think we're going to have to get some quantum type things online. Um, I don't think we have this, this lag though. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to put a quantum thing there just to get it to here. Uh, I mean, we could have made it one time. Hmm. You know, all this, and I could have just made another induction port. Because you need induction ports for input and output. Um, I could have just left it how it was, made another induction port for that. Which I think... I think what I'm going to do... So what I ended up doing is you can see these guys are actually red. Uh, these induction providers. It was only doing like 40-some thousand in out. And this alone would blow that out of the water. And so I needed something that would be better right and so i think what we're going to actually have to do is do that and then we're going to need some more of these induction cells eight uh, seven more seven more induction cells and then this it will have to go all right so that left that one spot open all right so yeah we need seven more induction cells and then another induction provider or well no what is it called induction port induction port uh and then that will yeah and then we'll have the input from that straight into it and then the input from that here um and then i think we're gonna see if we can't set it up to where i don't know if a comparator will work on this or maybe there's like an energy let's see energy like something that that like Forge energy. Yeah, what we need something that can determine how much energy is inside and output a redstone signal. Because the way I want it to work is I want this thing to mostly be running off of this. And then if it gets below a certain percentage, I want that to kick on and say, hey, here's some more power. Because between the two. This does 106,000 RF per tick. And that does, I think it was like 67,000 RF per tick. That, I mean, that's 170,000 RF per tick, right? So that's, well, 170,000 plus, whatever. Um, that should be pretty good for now. I mean, I, we're, we are definitely not using that. So, yeah. Okay, so we need, wait, what was it? Seven more. And, and the pieces in here don't apparently have to, like, match tier. Uh, so we could just fill it up with basics and then just use this for uh, the advanced stuff for making it input output faster. Um, because the basic, uh, the basic ones, they do like 8K each, I think. And those ones do 64K each or something. And depending on how many of those you have inside the case is, is what determines the, the in out. All right. So let's see what it's going to take. Ugh to make we needed what eight more basic induction cells induction cells eight more basic induction cells induction cell so that that will happen and then we need one more of these right so that will oh, or two oh yeah it does two at a time doesn't it okay Oh, I told it to crap. Wait, no, that should have... Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know right now. Okay, so this should... Wait, you know what? While we're here... While we're here... Let's grab a quantum... Oh, crap. How do we not have one of those? You know what? I think for now, we've got plenty of this stuff. We're just going to steal this one just for the sake of sanity, I guess. Uh, do I have another one over there? 
no that all of that over there is just running off of that there's nowhere near enough well actually is it enough power is it keeping this thing full ah nice okay <laughs> i was curious is it keeping that full it is nice okay do we do we have any back here but i don't think we need this one anymore i don't think this one's going i think this was going to the quarry but we don't have a quarry anymore so yeah oh no okay let's pop back down so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set sorry i always stop talking right there just because uh we're gonna set the quantum guy on that to we want to we want a, a new channel let's go 99 99 is good and inject energy off or yeah, inject on all inputs. So that's on energy or channel 99. Let's put this one on channel 99. This will eject. So this thing is not filling with power yet. All right, let's go ahead. Poop those around. Let's put that there. And boom. Perfect. So that's putting power in at 64,000 RF per tick. And then in, if we slept, this would be putting in 108,000 RF per tick. Now, we need to see if we can get something on here to emit a redstone signal. Yeah, the input, in, input output, 448k RF per tick. It holds 5.87 number. <laughs> So it, it, it's, a, it's a little bit higher than the, 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 the 32 million uh, that we're holding in the, the energy cells, right? It's a little, little bit more. Uh, just a, a skosh. Just a skosh more. All right. So we've got some stuff going on here. We've got 172,000 in. Nice. Very nice. We need to get power coming out. <laughs> I completely forgot everything is now uh, not running. Uh, let's do that. And then we'll just do this guy right there. And then he will be on uh, two, which was our energy. Right? He's our, Okay, he's already on two. Um, energy. Inject. There. Right? Does it have to be a cable? Is he? Output zero. Can it? Wait. Side config. Energy input all sides. Does it have to be into a freaking cable? Are you serious? Zero RF per tick. Do we have to configure these, maybe? I'll... Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Much better. Okay. Uh, two, set, side config, in, um, off. Aha. There we go. That'll send power to everything that needs power. 99 is that one. 99 is that one. And that one is going into there. Generating all the power it can. And this will hopefully fill up at some point. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it shouldn't It shouldn't take too long. And then now we what we need to see is can we get a comparator off of here? 
I'm going to assume no, but hopefully we can. All right, so it doesn't look like it. Hmm. And there's nothing... Yeah, this thing doesn't even respond to redstone control. Hmm. Wow, that's... Oh, that's the output. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what is going on there? All right. Uh, so I guess we should hook this thing back up. Uh, let's get rid of all this. And I think we're just going to pipe this directly into the uh, ender chest that we apparently no longer have. Oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right, let's get rid of all this. And we will slap this guy right there. All right, so that is on two. Energy. Auto eject. And there we go. And so now it is definitely, definitely, definitely running full power. Definitely. Full speed, full power, full bore, full, full on ahead. And this thing is, it is gaining power, right? Yes. Good. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can look at the input output. So we're using 20K. We're producing 172K. Nice. All right, now the question is, let's take a look here. Hold on. Now we're using 2K. <laughs> this thing uses 18K. Holy crap. That's insane. This thing uses 18K RF per tick. That's nuts. Okay. And it doesn't look like this is going to work. Um, so, I mean, eventually that will get full. I was really hoping to kind of run off that as much as possible. Um, and then only kick this on when it was like absolutely needed. You know, uh, this thing is like constantly. Yeah, it's constantly drained, constantly making power. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. Um, I mean, there's probably a way to do it. I'm just, I, I'm drawing a blank right now. And then once we upgrade this thing, like the tier five is going to go, I, I'm, I'm going to assume like 200 some thousand RF per tick. And then for tier six, I think we're going to actually have to upgrade this thing. <laughs> um, Cause I think, I think the tier six is 512 K if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so yeah. We're, we're doing really what well. that is a lot of power storage. And I mean, that's not actually all that big. I mean, it's kind of ugly. It, I mean, I, I think it could look better, but I mean, as long as it works, right? Right. And it is definitely working. Power is doing things and stuff and whatnot. Oh yeah. We got all the power, man. It's all good. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode and I will see you all next time.